The operating mode buttons on the right edge of the teach box are used for the basic operation of the robot. A virtual control panel displays these buttons on the touchscreen of the teach box as well. Touch the icon displaying the operating mode at the upper left hand corner of the touchscreen to access the virtual control panel. On the virtual control panel, you will see that we have access to the control voltage. This is the only location that the control voltage can be initiated on the pendant. Also, the all mode program can be started and stopped from this location, as well as starting and stopping from within the robot or peripheral programs. The operation with robot can be activated or deactivated from the virtual control panel. And the referencing of the robot can be done from this location. An end of arm tool change will be activated if there is an end of arm tool change loaded to the current main robot program. On the virtual control panel, we can also do a one cycle. This function makes the robot take out and place one shot only. The mold of the machine will remain open. The robot will travel back above the IMM and will switch to a block stop mode at the command that tells the robot to wait for the opening of the mold. Only after either one cycle or automatic is pressed, the mold of the IMM will close and the next cycle will start. The dry cycle function allows to test the teach program without producing parts with the IMM. When the teach program runs on the decisions that would account for the IMM to run in full automatic mode, a dialog box will be displayed where the user can decide how the robot shall continue. We can also put the robot into the manual mode or into the block stop condition from the virtual control pendant.